Okay, this is question one of the higher paper two, physics uh, predictive paper. So a student investigates the infrared radiation being emitted by different colored surfaces to the surrounding, drawing around the correct answer to complete the sentences. So all objects emit and absorb infrared radiation. Compared with cooler objects, hotter objects will emit more. So we can think about that one. So obviously, if you think about it, you've got an object, so let's say we've got this box here, and this box is, let's say, 100 degrees C, and we've got another box here, and this box is 30 degrees C. So what will happen is, as I said, all objects absorb, so take in, and emit, so give out infrared radiation. So if we think about the surroundings, if we imagine the surroundings being about room temperature, so about 20 degrees, so we've got a difference here, of an 80 degree difference. Whereas here we've only got 10 degree difference between the surroundings. So the hotter object has got, like, because of this bigger difference, it's gonna give out more infrared radiation into the surroundings. Whereas this 30 degree object has only got a small difference between the surroundings, so it's only gonna give out a smaller amount. So compared with cooler objects, hotter objects emit more infrared radiation. A student pours 300 centimeters cubed of hot water into three metal cubes and seals the top of each cube. Drawing around the correct answer to complete the sentence. Energy is transferred through the sides of the metal cube by... Okay, so this has caught our pupils in my class many times, all right, and it's caught on me before as well. Uh, the interesting word here is sides, because, you know, when we, we're doing this experiment, it's all about infrared radiation, so uh, most people go for radiation. But because it's talking about the sides, the side of the cubes are a solid. And there's only one type of heat transfer that can happen through a solid, and that is through conduction. So conduction is in solids. Remember, convection is in fluids. It's actually liquids and gases. And then radiation is a, is a heat transfer as a wave, and that can travel through a vacuum. So each cube has the same volume. Each cube is a different color. So if it's the same, that's a control variable. There are things that you must keep the same in order to maintain um, what you would previously call a fair test, but one that we, we're gonna have results that we can compare. Each cube is a different color. So that's gonna be our independent variable. And that's, what we, that's the one that we change. So we change that so that we can see how that affects um, the results. The temperature of each cube is recorded over 10 minutes. So the temperature is going to be the dependent because the, the, the column will affect the temperature. What is the independent variable? We've already said that down here. We said it's the color. So in particular, it's the color of the um, cube. The result of the investigation is shown on the graph. Write the correct letter for each cube, X, Y, and Z, uh, next to the line shown. So we've got to put them into, um, into this area here. And again, check where the marks are on the paper because it's very easy there to, to, look, to, to miss that out. Uh, a lot of people would just see, oh, there's no line to write anything on, therefore there's nothing to do, and we'll move straight onto this question. All right, if there is something to do, you've got to write these lines. So. Basically, what we can see is we've got this line here, which is the least steep. We've got this line here, which is the most steep. So the one that's the most steep, that's the one where we've got the, the biggest temperature change. And this one is the smallest temperature change. So if we think about that, well, what what color is going to produce the smallest temperature change? Well, if we know that the black equals the best emitter and absorber, and it would go through its colors, and then white is going to be the worst emitter, you might think of shiny silver, actually. Shiny surfaces have been the worst emitter because they're reflecting it, but in terms of just pure colours, the the darker the colours, the um, 
the better they are at giving out radiation. So that's the worst emitter uh, and worst absorber. In this case, we're giving out temperature because you know these cubes are full of hot water. They're going to be giving heat out, so that is emitting. So the one that's going to emit at the most is this dark colour, the black, because that's going to produce. It's going to emit far more than the others. So that's going to emit the most. That's going to the the grey is going to emit the second, and then the, the white isn't going to emit that much at all. So the biggest temperature change is going to be the by the black one, then the grey, and then the least temperature change is going to be the white one. So the biggest temperature change we can see down here is this bottom line. So if we look back at that, that is cube Z. So cube Z, biggest temperature change, because it's the darkest color. Uh, the least is gonna be the white one, so that's cube Y. So that's the, you know, that one's gone from uh, about 90 degrees to whatever that is, 30-ish, uh, without looking more closely. Um, and then the other one must be the cube in the, in the middle, which is cube X. So we should have something like that. All three cubes have the same starting temperature. This was important in the investigation. Select Y. That's what I mentioned earlier about control variables. Um, the whole point of having everything the same is that um, it means that you can compare your results. So uh, the results can be Some variables are kept the same in investigation. What name is given to these? These are the control variables. Okay, that's the end of that question.